Welcome everyone to Hamilton, Tim Hortons Field, not only the home of the Ticats, the home of the Canadian Football Hall of Fame, which grew by seven names officially last night. Last week in the nation's capital. McAllister picked up four. It's a second and six at the Hamilton 47. The Hall of Fame game just underway. And Powell throwing on that second down. And he completes it too. And uh, that is Terry Godwin on the receiving end. And the new receivers with the Ticats in his second year. Page very quickly. On second down and six. And Haba gets to Powell. Dwayne mentioned Haba coming in for the injured Jackson Jeffcoat, and he picks up his fourth sack of the season. Hasn't played in a while. It's his seventh game. An easy one as he was the unblocked man. And Mark Leggio, the former bomber, gets the chance to put the first points on the board, and he does victory over the Ottawa Red Blacks. They do the reverse. It's Tim White with it. Heading to the right side, sweeping around as a first down. Six. Looks into the end zone. Touchdown. Terry Godwin. Caught it actually about the two and took it in. BC Lions for the Red Blacks later today in this doubleheader. Now Polaris' last pass nearly intercepted. Deep look here. He's got Nick Dembski. And you know the Bombers are capable of this. They're down 10, but they strike fast. And with Dembski, they're down inside the Ticat 25. You see on the right side of that D-line, Jagarit Davis is in. Second and goal! Touchdown! Winnipeg! And it's Dembski who had the biggest play of this drive a couple of plays earlier, capping it off as the Bombers get right back into this game. After coming up here from Sergio Castilla. Castillo, oh, it's heading right, and no, he missed it to the right. So they got six on the board, and that'll be it as it's taken out here by McAllister. And he's still going. Tyreek McAllister to pick up a couple of points here for the Tigers. So denying the one point, getting two points on the missed convert taken all the way back the other way. A three point swing Hamilton's way after that touchdown, and it's a 12 6 game. It, it, it meant uh, a lot to, to myself, and uh, I know John as well, just because uh, you know, we played uh, many, uh, many years together. So to be able to uh, go in together was uh, a very special moment for both of us uh, over the years. So um, you know, it was great to spend that moment with her, and I share this. With, with her, since she's a huge part of it. The second and ten, though, with the Winnipeg 51 is Polaris to quickly throw. Wide open is shown, and he is knocked down inside the Hamilton 25. That ball, the tip of it hits the field. Pump it. Polaris touchdown, and look who gets it. <laughs> Take that. The one denied the catch before. It's a bigger one to put six more on the board for Winnipeg. All the defensive stats of picks, knockdowns, interceptions, or mentioning that. And sacks, too. Here's White from the receiving end. Winston Rose taking him down just close to the 25. This home is. Ticats' fourth possession. They've scored in the previous three. Driving. Breaks the plane. Touchdown, Hamilton. <laughs> yes, the TSN blimp. Second and six at the Winnipeg 45. Deep again. Dembski inside the 20. They strike fast. They strike big. And they strike again to get it close as halftime gets near. And down goes Kalaris. Taken down. Stavros Katsantonis. Hamilton blitzing coming in and a big defensive play for the Cats as the field goal unit will come on. Because his demeanor is like he's been there before. But very modest too as he completes that one. The gun to start off this second half with a completion and a first down for the Ticats up around midfield. And now as the O 
see and Hamilton working with Powell, who bobbles that shotgun snap and recovers, and still gets away from Willie Jefferson, rolling to his left and looking deep, deep down inside the five, and was close, and a flag comes out, intended for Omar Bayless, and a big interference call is coming up. Pass interference, Winnipeg number 17, point of foul, automatic, first down. Ticats is zero and an 89. Well, and they had Mike Glass in the 30s before Matthew Schultz came back. Pushing. Touchdown. Loxley takes it in. For his second touchdown of the season as a Tiger Cat. This is done in that role. Here we go in a second and six. It's complete. And inside the 40 is shown. And that's good for a first down as this drive will continue for Winnipeg. Under a full season in terms of game experience for him. And you got George in his first year. And the boundary intercepted. Jameer Thurman. Or Malik Carney, excuse me, the defensive end dropping back. Intercepts. Zach Polaris in a big defensive play for the Ticats. And a good return by Malik Carney. Second and goal, Winnipeg nine. And Hamilton add to the lead here. Powell, end zone. It's intercepted. So this time the Bombers answer back with a huge turnover to deny Hamilton from scoring. Uh, you mentioned growing up and tell us a little bit about what the game of football meant, has meant to you, not just since you've been in the CFL, but throughout your life. Um, yeah, growing up in the uh, inner city LA. First and ten on the move. Rasheed Bailey with a lot more up across the 45 and another first down as Bailey's fired up. 14. Bombers after a penalty start in better shape across the 45. Oh, is that intercepted again? It is. Kenneth George with it. Third pick thrown by Zach Kolaris. For the Ticats to put this away if they can find the end zone again. Pressure's coming, ball is out. Ball's out and it's in no one's hands yet. Yes, it is now. Brandon Alexander with it as it rolled around. And a late flag comes out. The QB was juggling the snap. And they signal the touchdown for Winnipeg. Zach Kolaris had stayed in in the short yardage and a flag Offside. did come out. Winnipeg down, four men rush, Kolaris, nowhere to go, they got him. Kolaris goes down, Craig Crawford was in there, and Casey Sales too. Back to back Second wins. Second straight year, Dwayne Ford, on the Hall of Fame game, the underdog Ticats beat the favorite Winnipeg Blue Bombers, this time with a rookie quarterback, Taylor Powell, and a defense that really rose up in the second half.